Good morning, everyone. I'm still me. I'm betting you're still you. And uh, this is just me saying good morning to you. Um, as always, uh, I'm appreciative and grateful for um, Dimash's music and his fans. That's incredible. Um, the love that Ange and I get, I just, um, that is part of why we're here this morning. So it looks like Sundays, I'll probably have one post and then um, videos that I did over Fridays and Saturdays. I'm kind of figuring it all out right now, okay? Um, some of the things that seemed like they would change me at first probably are gonna make me stronger. Uh, shuffling stuff around because as everyone's seen, they, 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 the way the phone works, it looks like they find the stuff eventually. And if you ever um, really need to find something you wanna find, um, you just, you know, you go to the channel and I very rarely ask for that. Say, I'm not saying you should or shouldn't, but that'd be your best way to find stuff, links, and um, get you to this, this, say that help page that's going up on the website. Um, best thing I could say is the, um, the links to that would be on a, a, a channel page, maybe not on the video, but we're trying to put a bunch of stuff on the videos too. Um, obviously I smoke too much, so, um. I'm going to put that on there until I find a good link. I was trying to be funny, but I'm going to... I'm not going to overthink or rethink funny. I am who I am. But I realize that things might be even bigger than... Not with, a, you know, not with 6,000 people. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the grand scale. The planet. Um... It'd be na very naive to not see that um, trends and tides are ebbing and flowing and changing and um, that that um, maybe, and I hope you get this far, but maybe the, the nihilists and everything is chaos and meaningless, the folks that believe everything is coincidence the people that believe everything is their god and people like myself who think it's positive and negative energy now all opinions like this are for entertainment purposes only but i'm pretty sure they're all the same thing the nihilist because they can't see the vast picture are unwilling to accept things greater than themselves. It's just chaos. That's all they can pull from it. As much human uh, intellect and knowledge, obviously the sky's the limit there. Um, you know, the, 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 they're sure their guy did it. Is their guy, you know, is, is that about love and care and doing no harm or is that just saying their rule book is right? I'm not going to debate that. I'm positive that the, the kindness, love, and goodwill is so much powerful or more, more powerful than um, the rule book. I think the rule book's in our hearts. I think that's one of our biggest problems. So what I've seen from all the Dimash fans and then others too, that kind of get what's going on and don't just think I'm uh, out here hating on progressives. I mean, if you're an extreme new world order, global socialism, uh, um, Soros is right person, then yeah, of course you're going to hate me. I'm not here for you. There's channels that speak to you. You should go within your bubble. Um, I'm trying to burst all them bubbles and reconcile my wicked past and a, um, a loving future, but I got to do it through uh, means that aren't always, uh, why well, I, I wouldn't, you know, my spirit is complicated. So it's not as simple as, uh, my book says this, I'm right. I got to believe 
that all those wonderful people that I'm talking to in the comments, that I the the, the kindness, the love, and the care, the the hopeful, um, the hope that doing no harm is part of their life. I wouldn't think our rule books mattered. I think we'd be able to do chores together, break bread together, laugh and cry together, and probably um, grow friendship, love, care. You know what I'm saying? I think that stuff matters. I think unplugging from the, the hate and the despair, the nonstop, I've got to be angry. Um, I think unplugging from that has been the greatest thing that ever happened to me. That being true, I still have to be angry about stuff because the world still keeps turning, right? There's stuff that we should be able to have opinions about, and that's all we're going to do. Um, that's kind of general, but I haven't been around in a couple days, and I think uh, I'm going to really and like the next month. Let's put it that way. I, um, everything's close to streamlined now and I have a pretty good clue what I'm doing. I have home infrastructure in place to make sure we can support this endeavor for a while because I don't want to just churn out uh, Dimash videos. For, it just would break my heart. I can't, I don't want to do that. I want to do the stuff I do during the day, but I just want to focus it more on... Um, how it all applies to me becoming a better man. And then I think we've stuck enough out there. You want to come get some of this, you can. Tell me in the comments how I'm a horrible person. I'm cool with that. I'll thank you. I'll let you know your bubble exists. I appreciate you trying to fix me or educate me. It's a noble cause you uh, partake in. I'm probably me. No amount of single sentence is going to, you know, fix me. Here, I'll tell you a single sentence. Dimash is an amazing singer. Yep, that affected me. That's true. There you go. Bam. Why? Because it makes me feel joy that I don't feel when I'm dealing with the rest of the world. Now, it ain't no different than what's going up on. I'm putting up. I did some striper and... Uh, some uh, Bryson Gray and Topher, uh, and I really related to that stuff. And um, the mix of uh, what's going on and um, my spirit was perfect in that. It's just awesome. I loved it. So um, to the people that are waiting for that, that's coming. Um, I don't have a ton of personal, personal communication right now because now I'm trying to, um, the contact information's out there. Um, you definitely, um, if you're, t we're talking every day, I'd probably go find that contact information and find what you're looking, it's in there. I'm sorry I'm not trying to play a game. The whole point is I don't want to solicit anything but it's available for people to use and I'm available maybe more than you might imagine. Um, but, uh, yeah, going to reconcile my soul and my weird, uh, mysterious, um, it's occult knowledge. Cult just means secret, hidden, it's occulted. It's uh, it's uh, um, not available for everybody to know about. Of course, with the power of the internet, it is. You can go find everything I learned, and then we could talk about it um, on an evil, even playing playing field. Um, but yeah, reconciling all that together through the power of uh, music, friendship, love, camaraderie, community. Um, that's our whole goal. Ange and I, we, we sat down and talked and we find nothing but the most wonderful hope in what we're trying to do here. And I'm sure by this point you understand it's a whole lot more than making a music reaction. I think there's more to it. 
There's more to all of it. And honestly, if music is just an escape for you, this isn't the place. You know what I mean? There are places that will help you escape reality. Let's bring our music, our joy, our pain, our reality. That's just, and there's, you know, there's eight, ten. There's more, but they don't say anything. But there's a few out there already. And let's join together and, and see what we can do for, well, I think it's in the comments. I think some of you feeling at home that um, trying to learn a little more, love a little more, care a little more. I just, that stuff's important. I just saw it today. I know. I, I hate to reference Twitter because it's a, a huge shade of gray over there. But um, what's interesting is uh, I just, it's funny. You want to talk about how the world works? For two weeks now, I think a couple times, I've harped upon if we want to do something, maybe we should help an old person across the street, right? I use the cliche trope, helping an old lady across the street. I look, I'm, I'm doing my morning stuff and I'm surfing Twitter, kind of seeing what I might want to think about as well as other stuff. And here's the greatest video. I think I retweeted it. Um, pretty sure I did. Uh, yeah, to hell with it. Hold on a second here. Let's go to my profile over here. Sure. It's my top. Uh... So these wonderful young men in the inner city. I don't know where they are. City somewhere. Uh, you can't see it. Oh, they're a little bit. They're helping this guy. They help him off the bus. They help him get his shit together. At no point in the video do they then kick him down to the ground, kick his face in, and um, take all his stuff. And they're, unfortunately, they're old enough to do a lot other stuff than uh, just help. So it was uh, super uplifting. I made sure I put that out right away. But here's the thing. There's what I'm talking about right there. Yes, I could search out videos of people helping each other and and then I could reaffirm that good things happen. I don't actually live in that bubble. I, I try to look at the world as it is. So when this act of kindness gets seen by all these people that are in my bubble and then they put it out, I... I I know at that point there's cracks in the bubble or it's getting popped or it's been popped and we no longer n live in the bubble, but we don't know our cage is gone. We don't know we hold the keys to the cell because you're told every day this, 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 and this. Ignore that, 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 and that and think in your own head what, what would make life better. Being nice to each other, kindness, Certainly not an overemphasis on um, the language you use. It would have to be an overemphasis on the context behind those words, of course, right? I mean, you can't be over here arguing words are hurtful if you don't discuss context first. So once again, there's a bubble for those people. But only words have value if you put con uh, out of context clip is not scary. If that's scary for you, you shouldn't be engaged in public discourse. I'm not mincing words there. That's the truth. If that's enough to set you off, then you we don't need you in the public talk because you don't live in the real world where real people act. Go to the inner city and see how your language policing works. I lived I lived that for um, a decade. Um, yeah, no, just call, I want to see how your language policing works. Down where, you know, two rival gang members are um, uh, fighting over turf every night. Hey, go see. Get some billboards and some signs up. Maybe you teach them to love each other more. Now, I think that'd be kick ass if we could, but I just like, I want to see you do that by controlling language. <clears throat> 
So, yeah, look at that. I always tend to get drawn off, but because I, I deal with stuff. I deal with, you know, oh, like I said, it's 99.8% wonderful, wonderful people. It's crazy how that number, like, it's just this tiny percentage that fall victim to online um, harassment or um, hating. And, um, hey, our comments, I try to pin them to the top if I can. They're there. So, I mean, you know, the the 1 in 2,000, whatever it is, 1 in, one in 1,500, hey, pretty good odds for us. We're doing pretty good. I think we're spreading the right thing, not the wrong thing, because I certainly don't see um, a bunch of good God-fearing, not God-fearing, I don't like that expression, I just don't. Um, I don't see people that have open hearts to the things that are wonderful in this world um, being mean and putting me in my place. So I think we're doing good. I think everything's going awesome. And I think that's about it. 16 minutes, we ensured that only a handful of you made it to the end. And that's perfect. Um, some of the better stuff should always come at the end. Because, you know, I mean, with retention and stuff now, people don't, they click through. If they don't hear something they want to hear, they, they take off, which is perfect. That's, you know what I mean? I'm not telling any of us what we should or shouldn't do. I'm telling you how I'm going to share my path with you once again. Because now this week, I'm going to try to focus. Next two weeks, I'm going to try to focus even more on, excuse me, I'm sorry. It's, uh, well, actually, it's pretty nice. It makes sense. Now we're back up to 20. So we were down, you know, you get like a 40 degree shift in one day. That happens to a lot of people out there in the cold parts of the world. So don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. It's just reality. And then my sinuses are misspent youth, people. This is just a mess up in here. The sinuses are just destroyed. Ugh, don't do drugs. They're bad. They're bad. Um, I think that's about it. I just really wanted to touch base. A uh, couple videos going up on Reaction Talk. Um, uh, this going up over here. I don't know if we have anything new coming tonight. or I'm sure we do. But, uh, you know. Monday's almost here. Um, we're working on subtitles and all that stuff for the people who, um, if the subtitles aren't on it, you might want to come back in a few hours. Uh, I'm probably still just letting them generate or I transferred a video to another computer and then I got to re-auto re um, translate the subtitles. So then it just takes a couple hours again. But we're working on that. Eventually, we'll have this formula figured out because we're going to, um, well, we don't believe languages should get in the way of uh, the connections we're making. They're way more important than, I do, I do like that part of the future. I like being able to communicate with folks everywhere now. That's powerful. A plus on that. You know what I mean? I would never complain at all. Well, I think that's about it. If you made it all the way in, you're not confused, thank you for everything. Angie and I will be back soon with uh, more stuff, and um, I'll be back in the morning with more stuff. There'll be a striper video is awesome. I'll be going up over there. I really liked it because I'm okay with my heart and soul. That's what we're, we're getting to is uh, love and care are just definitely – transformative but unplugging from the we should all be able to notice what's going on without taking part in the activity that's what i think so that's kind of just on dealing with people who um at home and gonna tell you how to live your life i don't think they're that important do something good say something nice try that tap into that happiness um thing and i'm telling you boy it feels feels better than I felt in a lot of years. And I'm hoping, because there's no answer. I got no answer. Everything we're doing here is for entertainment purposes only. So if you're feeling it at home, you're doing that to yourself. I haven't made you do that. You're finding that positive energy, love, whatever you want to name it. 
as long as it's built on a foundation of love, care, and doing no harm, shouldn't matter what the name is. That's the part. That's what we're going to focus on right now. The transformative power of love. Man, I think it's real. I just didn't know. I, I Maybe I had faith, but I didn't really believe. Now I have faith and I believe in that is a cool position to hold. We'll be back Monday morning. Have a great day.